Hello, thank you so much for clicking on my video and welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. My name is Jenny and I create budget-friendly home decor that's easy to do. In today's video, I am going to be doing some five-minute rustic Christmas DIYs using these little kits from the Dollar Tree, these little 3D kits. Now, I love these and I'm opening up one to show you the content that's inside these packages. Now, I'm going to be using the trees out of these packages for today's DIYs. That little small tree has the glitter on one side, but you can always paint the other side. It has a little Santa Claus, the little candy canes, and here's the trees. It's a set of two. And then it has the little wood plank stand that you can use and the abbreviation Christmas sign over there now I'm going to be using another kit this kit is similar except for it's a trio of trees and instead of the Santa Claus there's a snowman in this kit now you can use these as is and paint them and I think they are cute but I'm going to create some rustic decor using these so I grab two sets of the twos out of two pack two different packs and they are the same and I'm going to be using these two small planks here from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to create some really simple stands that can hold my candles now I'm just going to add some hot glue to the bottom of the trees and then place it right up against the side just like this and I'm going to do a set of two and I'm going to be using that cafe color paint from Waverly to paint these. I'm excited about today's video because I'm finally collabing with my dear friend Amber from over at DIY with Amber. We have been trying to get this collab video out so long but life be lifing and we just haven't had the chance. So I'm super excited girl to be collabing with you today. I am going to have my friend channel linked in the description box below so that after this video you can go and check out my friend's channel. She is absolutely Absolutely amazing if you're coming over from her channel hello hello welcome to lovely moments creating thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you enjoy this video and all of you all please after watching my video click on the link in the description box below go check out my girl and tell her that I said hello hello and kisses to you and the family amber you know you do your thing over there and i am super excited that we finally got this video out so i'm going to continue on i'm going to paint both of these using the same color but i'm also going to take some of that white chart paint and brush it down at the bottom where it had like the cut out like if it was snow and then i'm going to also distress over the trees i'm going to do the front and the back because you can you can style these anyway once you place your candle or whatever you want on them and I'll I'll show you that so I'm going to get these really good in distress and then I am going to go back and use one of my sanding blocks from the Dollar Tree to sand over these to get that rustic look because I did want all of these DIYs to have like a high-end rustic look to them because the room that I'm going to be styling these in, that's the, the decor for that room. So I'm going to do a hint of color, but for the most part, for the holiday season, I'm going to try to stay neutral. So now I'm going in with the sanding block. And as you can see, I'm just going over this, distressing it really good. And that is going to be it for this. If you're not new to my channel, you know I love my candles, whether it's the LED or the real candles. So these will be perfect for me for the season, and I absolutely love how they turned out. And if you see these kits, don't walk past them. Pick these kits up. You can do so much more. Now for the next DIY, I'm going to be using these trees. And as you can see, I this was the trio set. And I'm cutting off of one of them. And then I'm going to get another pack because I like the shape of that tree. So I'm going to grab another pack and cut that one off as well. These next two DIYs is really simple. But once again, it has that rustic wood high-end look to them so I'm going to go in with some red um, paint and this is that crimson color by Appleberry I believe Appleberry barrel I don't know I can't talk today <laughs> and I'm going to paint that one and then I'm going to go in 
with this fern color and this one is from Waverly I hope I said that right too I don't know what's wrong today so I painted both of those and then now I have these two wood pieces here from the Dollar Tree and I am just going to give these a good coat using that cafe color by Waverly I'm just using my sanding block because I've seen a little rough edges here and there and then I'll go in and paint both of these front and back now don't forget after watching this video hit that description box below click on the link to check out my friend Amber you're not going to be disappointed I'm sure most of you already know Amber but if you don't you are in for a treat because she is just fabulous she does amazing work I absolutely adore her and her channel so now that I have those painted I'm going to add these trees right on top just using some hot glue and then once I get both of them attached I am going to go in with that sanding block again and distress over both of these pieces and I also really like that these are really quick and easy to do these are really less than five minute DIYs so as you can see now I'm just making sure that I distress this bringing back some of that natural color around the edges and that's giving me that rustic look now once I get both of them sanded down I am going to bring in some jute twine and I'm going to use that to embellish the bottom of these so I'm just going to hot glue um, some of the jute down at the bottom and then wrap it around a few times and then you cross it over and then tack it down in the back with some hot glue and then I'm going to do the same thing to the other one really simple you can add a little bow to the front of that but I'm not going to add a bow I'm going to just leave it as is um, maybe add a bow later but for now I like them just like that so I'm doing the same thing repeating it crossing it over and then I'm going to tack it down in the back with some hot glue and that's going to be it for these two planks really simple but I like how these turned out as well Now for these next two DIYs, super duper simple. I am just going to take these trees and I'm going to cut them apart. And then I'm going to cut the bottoms off of them. And then I'm going to go in with some more of that cafe color paint to paint these. These will look great any color. I'm just trying to keep everything neutral and going for that rustic look. So I am going to paint both of these. Now I have some of those little really small wood cubes. They're like... Um, they're not the tumbling blocks. I'll show you those shortly. They like these little cubes. I meant to hot glue them to the bottom of these prior to me painting them, but here they are. I'll just add them to each one of them now, and then I'll just go over and repaint them. And I'm adding these to give these little trees a little um, stability. These are just really quick and simple little trees that you can add to a tear tray or maybe just blend in with some other decor and now I'm just going in to paint over these now I always pick up these um, stems and the little branches and all of the little nat nature pieces that the Dollar Tree sell these little things here I have two of them but I'm going to switch one of them out for that one and all I'm going to do is add these trees to the top of them to give them a base and I am going to go over and sand down the paint a little bit and that will be it for these cute little trees and I think they'll look really great if you blend them in with some other decor add them to a tear tray or they do just as good standing alone Now for the next three DIYs, I'm going to use these three glittery trees. I'm just going to flip them over on the other side and paint each one. I'm going to paint one of them using this red paint and then I'm going to paint one using that fern color. 
and then I'm going to paint the last one using some white chalk paint. Another set of simple DIYs and I absolutely love these wood ornaments from the Dollar Tree. I'm obsessed with these. I love these. I don't care if I have a lot. I'm going to pick up another pack. They already come with a little jute hanger and I'm just going to string all of these through and tie the knot. I love nature decor and I love my tree to have that really rustic look. So these are perfect for me. I will make so many ornaments using these. And that's all I'm gonna do is make three simple ornaments because I'm just gonna simply attach each one of these little trees to each one of these ornaments. And after I get them attached, I am going to take my sanding block again and go over these trees to distress that color kind of mute it down some and just give it that rustic look and I think these are so cute I am sure I'm going to make more of these I would like to find some little deers to add to these little ornaments but that is it for this very simple very cute and I cannot wait to style these on my Christmas tree Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did. If so, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment section below, let me know which one of these were your favorite. And don't forget to check the description box below for the link to my dear friend Amber's channel so you can see what she came up with. And also, if you're in the Dollar Tree, pick up these little craft kits. I'm sure you can find something to do with them that will be great for your home. Until next time, my sweet friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video.